Hello world, another beautiful day today. Got the sun shining on me, getting that vitamin D from it. You know, the birds are chirping, kids are playing, everybody's having fun. Hopefully we can keep a, a peaceful day, keep uh, this peaceful morning going into a peaceful night all the way to the next day, to the next week, to the next month, to the next year, till infinity. Let's keep peace. I know it, uh, it's tough at times, but take this morning to meditate and bring forth the old, understand it, learn from it, then move forward into the moment, into the now, until you have a taste for a little bit advanced knowledge and insight into your future. Visualize, see it, do not worry about your thoughts towards it, just visualize and allow it to be. It may not be the furthest future, it may just be that chicken sandwich that you're just trying to get in like 30 minutes. You may just see a chicken sandwich. If you do see a chicken sandwich and you were planning on seeing the future 30 years from now, but you saw a chicken sandwich 30 minutes from, from now, well, I don't know. Maybe your future has something to do with that chicken sandwich. Maybe, you know, that, visual, that visualization of that chicken sandwich means a lot more than you think. Maybe you're just a chicken sandwich between two things. A chicken being somebody who is afraid. Being sandwiched between two people or two jobs or two ideas or a job and a person or video games and your girlfriend, whatever it is. Everything means something. We're not here to break anyone down to the point where they can't lift themselves up. Because that's what you will be doing, lifting yourself up. Yes, you will be coming from this and anyone else who is giving you any insight or courage because we do take that courage from others because we can't always lift it up in ourselves and uphold it. We need more than ourselves to uphold it and see that it's possible. We know it's possible, but for some reason our minds can't stay too high in our heads for long. The vision shatters and we soar deep to the abyss of the pit. But in that pit, there's a dragon. But that dragon is as sad as you. You'll have to face that dragon. Tell it to Remove its wings from its face. Tell it to breathe fire into the place so you can see up and higher, see the walls of your pit. Maybe you could climb up because of the dragon, you're too afraid to get bit. that dragon, after you ignited its flame, comes back to you to ignite and reclaim. Its rightful source, its owner, it's a horse. For you to ride upon, up out of that pit. If you already thought of flying out with that dragon, sorry you had to wait a little bit. <laughs> but yes, you know, you fly out to the surface and you allow that dragon to soar. You allow that dragon to soar all the way to heaven. 
as if you'll see it no more. That dragon will experience perfection, utter bliss, and happiness. But it will remember where it came from. Home, no utter miss. It will remember you in the state of the world. The dying, hungry, thirsty, homeless, orphaned, widowed, trafficked, misused, misunderstood, mislabeled, the slaves, the laborers, the ones facing injustice and lies. That dragon will come back with a roaring flame, ready to roast any host that gets in its way. It'll come back straight for you. For you to help it solve the problem. This is a point where two things can happen. The dark night of the soul can rise. Or the wizard of light can rise up. And shine his magic of his undying light into the world. Because sometimes the world needs a little magic, a little mysticism. Keep your head high. Because no, that dragon is in you and it saw the stars, it saw heaven. It saw the clouds coming back down and it cried. They cried leaving heaven. Yeah. It was that blissful. But it also cried more while it was in heaven, thinking about all of us. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your day. Peacefully. Abundantly. In happiness. In grace. Amen. A beautiful day.